In this video, we will learn about how to create a drop down select in Google Earth Engine. And from that drop down select, we will select any country and show that country boundary in the map. First, open your Google Earth Engine code editor, then input the large scale international boundary that is LSIB. Search LSIB and we will go for the simplified version. Rename this LSIB that is large scale international boundary. Let's see the table schema. And we have a country underscore and that is country name, US recognized country name. We will need this field that is a column. We will need this column name. Now let's filter this with the column name. Let's I B dot and we will use aggregate function here. The field will be our country name. Let's print this. Here is a blank space, let's remove this and run again. Here all the country names are shown here. We can sort this. You will sort function and run again. And this list is sorted alphabetically. When you perform operations in Google Earth Engine, the computations are typically executed on server side. This is a server side. Uh, this is server side execution. We will use uh, get info dot get info to make it a client side function. Get info is a method used to retrieve information from server side to the client side. And let's run this again. Well, now this is a client side function. Now we want to add a drop down select here and populate the country names in this drop down select. Search for select. Double click on this and copy this and paste in code editor. Let's make it a variable named country select. And create a dictionary. We don't need this one, so we remove this. Items. And the items should be collected from the country names. And placeholder should be select. Three. We don't need the value as well, so remove this one and on change. We will add code to the on change later, so let's commit it out. 
and also the style. Now you have to add the country select to our map so that map dot add country select and let's run the code. All our countries are, are populated here. But when we select any country, it doesn't do anything because we didn't make any function to do anything. Now we will add a callback function on the on change event. This function will receive the current selected value as an input. Now let's print the selected country. When you select, it is printed here. So our code is working. Now we will filter the selected country from LSIV based on our uh, drop down selection. For this, we have to use the filter function. Let's make the variable. Let's make a variable named country and filter this out from LSIV. It will filter from the LSIB based on country name and our selected entry. So let's copy this country name and put it here. And the country name should be our selected country. Now our selected entry is filtered out from the LSID. Let's add this to our map. We are using add layer function here. Let's see what happens. Well, it is loaded, but the country is not shown in the center of the map, so we have to use another function that is center object. Now let's see again. Let's select a country. Very fine. Very nice. Our selected country Albania is shown and centered to the map. And if we now if we select another country It is shown here as well, but our layers are increasing. And if we select another one, see, the number of the layers are increasing. But we don't want this. We want a single layer and replace that layer. So to get that done, we have to set layers.
and if we run this again oops we have escaped to brackets here let's run again The country is loaded nicely here. We have a, we have a layer, layer there. We have a single layer there. And now if we select another country, the new country is loaded. And see our layer is replaced. Now the number of layers is increased here. This is the thing we want. Now let's add some styling there. And a fill color. We want it to red. Let's run this code. Our country has a red fill color, but we want some sort of transparency there. So let's add 50% transparency and run this again. Very nice. If we want, if you do not want any fill color, we can remove this using DAO is zero there. See, here our red boundary is only shown, no fill color. But the 50% transparency looks nice. We can add this drop down select to the left panel here so that it will look more professional. So let's make a panel. Now add this drop down select to the panel. Let's remove this one. And insert that panel to the left. This should be zero. Now let's run the code. We have left panel here and we can select the country from there. And our country boundary is nicely shown here. We can make it a little bit bigger using some styling. Let's put a style there.
بس بس ما يجي أنا السلبة هي بتير بس بوك أتنك نعم كبير Think and draw on this code. And our panel background is pink here. Let's make this drop down select option a little bit bigger. So for that we have to add a style to the country select. And let's and let's make it a dictionary. What happens? And our code is running perfectly.